What's going on guys? So today I have a BG on my Magicka Templar. Now I do want to note, these guys aren't the best players of all time, but that honestly doesn't take away from how good Magic Templar actually is at the moment. So in my opinion, this is why Magic Templar could be S tier. So Magic Templars are just amazing at the moment. They have a good stun and toppling charge. This thing actually does a lot of damage too, and is very it's very quick and you know fast. And it's, it's just so fun to use because most magic classes don't have a good stun at all. And just being able to, you know, move around the, you know, the battlefield and just being able to top and charge people and stay on them. And it honestly makes you pretty fast too because you can use it to, you know, gap close and just stay on somebody. So also Magplar has some very good damage with sweeps and solo barrage. But I don't even think that's really the main thing that really sets Magplar apart. It's going to be Radiant Oppression. This skill is absolutely crazy. This thing ticks for 8k, 10k, and BGs. Uh, Radiant is just so good. It just really just nukes people's health bar. So Radiant just seals the kills for, you know, for Magplar. It just, with all the AoE pressure you have with puncturing sweeps and solar barrage, just having Radiant on top of a toppling charge just will obliterate their health bar. Also, this isn't to mention, you know, the good ultimates that Magplar have with Crescent Sweep. It's cheap. It it's similar to how Solar Barrage works, where it's just an AoE around you. So it really pairs up well uh, with uh, Magplar. I think that's really what makes classes good, is things synergize well together. Uh, having Solar Barrage with uh, the Crescent is just AoE pressure on top of itself, and then actually hits decently hard for uh, direct damage. Um, so it just makes all in all damage kit on the Magplar is just absolutely bonkers. It also has some good survivability with um, good healing with Purge uh, and you know Honor the Dead. Now I do run a Resto Staff on my Magplar and I do prefer it because having rapid regeneration to you know kind of overheal yourself uh, is a very good thing to have. Especially in, uh, in BGs because I mean this is a solo QBG so... Uh, I, I could heal myself actually a little bit and you know not not take so much damage and I can swap to my front bar After I hit rapid regeneration and can, you know pretty much stay offensive the entire time uh, Also, it has some amazing sustain. So in this in this BG, I'm literally running 1400 magic recovery with all spell damage No one recovery on my on my jewelry with two spell damage with the HRM under stone like this build is so good uh, I do have a build video. I have changed it up a little bit. I think um, since you know I last posted it um, but I ran a little bit more M pin for non CP. That's really the only difference. But uh, the sustain is amazing with Honor of the Dead. Like that gives you, I think, 60% of the cost of the skill back, uh, which is absolutely crazy. It's like cost like three, three k, three point five k or something like that. So getting 60% of the skill is absolutely crazy. And then having the armor buff give you 480 uh, resources back. It's just so good, man. So the only con to Magplar, it's going to be the tankiness. See, I am in light armor, so I am a little bit on the squishy side. But running Deja Trickery, pairing that with minor protection from jabs, with the major protection that you get from Deja Trickery. So just having the major mending and minor mending on Magplar with the Deja Trickery just makes the heals so much more, you know, crazy. It's like I think it's like a 24% heal increase. You know, having like the major heroism is always nice as well. Um... But if you're in a different back bar set on Magplar, I don't feel like it would be as tanky because you really need that Deja Trickery to give you a little bit more tankiness. Um, the damage is there. It's just trying to survive as much as you can to be able to deal the damage. That's really, you know, the, the sweet spot for Magplar because you're not going to be, you know, full tank mode. You're not going to be able to, you know, breath of lifespan forever. Your best defense is a good offense and, you know, killing people fast. So that's kind of the way I like to play Magplar. It hits very hard and it's one of my most fun classes to play. So Sork is the only class that would have a, you know, competition against Magplar. The the reason why I think Magplar is better though, is because it actually stays in the fight. Magic Sorks are just going to streak away and create distance, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. It's just, you know, their play style and how they play. And you honestly can't blame them for it, but... So just spamming, you know, Execute and a BG is easy on Mag Sork, but, you know, they don't really stay in the fight too much. Uh, and they really can't, you know, go right in and, you know, fight three people. They have to run away. So it's just not very fun, fun for me at least. So Magplar is the only class I feel like can handle stamina builds somewhat decently well. So having their healing kit that they do have uh, with cleanse and whatnot very helps them pretty much with stamina builds, like uh, you know Dizzy Swing and you know if you're playing against Sam Sork or playing against a Stamina Warden or even Sam DK, you know having the cleanse is very nice uh, to get rid of dots and whatnot, especially against Sam DK. Um, 
Sam so Decay is probably the one of the classes that's really gonna pressure you the most, because uh, you're gonna it's gonna basically force you to play on your back bar. Sam Decays are just gonna wear your resources down because you're gonna be using cleanse and playing really defensive because of the dots. I really like doing these commentary videos because you know it gives you guys the background knowledge, you know, kind of my thoughts on you know everything and you know kind of peels back the curtain on you know explaining things and you know trying to give my perspective on why I think a class is good or not. Uh, I did like making the DK video. It kind of said it kind of sounded more like a rant, but you know this one was a little bit more positive. Uh, Magplor is definitely really fun, and I really enjoy it. Uh, so I do plan on making Stam DK next, like you know doing the class overview. It's gonna take me a minute though, cause I gotta get some crystals to trade change some gear. Um, but you know I hope to have it out by the end of next week. But I'm gonna keep you know doing BGs, trying to get some content for you guys. And you know that's it for this, and I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Peace. What you know you pop into my head right now What you know I felt you doing that a lot I wish that you pick up on your phone I call I hope that you're good no matter where you are Hope that you're fine and that you're not like me Day you repeat, it's never complete Hearts in the race, it's at the max of speed I'm driving a red light, hope I'll make it here I just wanna hear you speaking, anything I'll hear you screaming I just wanna feel something But anything to feel some pain Or just to pinch your muscles say No, I just need to feel something Baby, won't you fight me? for I